I knew I could count on you, Light. Hey, so do you think you're ready to try a few on your own now? Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, hmm? sounds like Dad's home. Welcome home, dear. Thank you. He's home really early today. Hey, why don't you at least try the last problem by yourself? I will, but maybe after dinner. Yeah, right. Helping your sister with her homework, you sure are relaxed. Of course. If the police try to come after me, I'm pretty confident I've got something that'll give me the advantage. Hey, glad you could join us for dinner. You hungry, Dad? Yeah, it's been a long day. So Light, tell me, how are your studies going? Hmm? Everything's okay, I guess. Whatever, he's at the top of his class. My big brother's a genius. That's my son, we're all proud of you, Light. Is everything okay, Dad? You look tired. Yeah, I'm not able to say too much about it, but this case I'm working on now is really tough. I see. Well, well, Daddy's a policeman. And that must be the reason why you're so confident. That's right. It's easy for me to hack into Dad's computer. We're on a home network, so I can copy the files I need without leaving a trace. This way I can keep track of their investigation. Here we go. Isn't that interesting? Looks like the police are already beginning to suspect a student. <laughs> I guess that means you're in trouble. <laughs> if the cause of death is written within 40 seconds of writing the person's name, it will happen. If the cause of death is not specified, the person will simply die of a heart attack. After writing the cause of death, details of the death should be written in the next 6 minutes and 40 seconds. That sound right to you, Ryuk? So what's your point? In other words, if I write heart attack as the cause of death, then I should be able to write down all the details, including time of death afterwards, shouldn't I? Looks like I'll be able to provide you with more entertainment now. <laughs>